Hi everyone, welcome back. It's more Iki Scandinavian abroad and it has been a bit of a hiatus here on YouTube but I really really want to do more stuff here so consider this me being back and something exciting today. So it was just my birthday last week on the 7th of February and I decided that I was going to get myself a birthday gift that I've been eyeing up for quite a while and because I got some money from my lovely parents I thought it was finally the time to buy a selkie dress and it's now here so I'm gonna do an unboxing for you show you hopefully if it fits <laughs> um, what it looks like my initial thoughts and then hopefully I'll be able to do a photo shoot in it soon as well but I'm very excited and I hope you are as well initially I'm just gonna say that I bought a size large I'm a little bit worried about how these girls are gonna fit, I'm not gonna lie. But I went on the measurement that was closest to my under bust because that's what they recommended. And pretty straightforward ordering, it was free shipping. And the only issue I had, which I knew, like it always happens, uh, is that you have to pay like import tax, which was a lot. I think it was almost £90, which is almost half of the price of the dress. So painful, but fine. But let's have a look at the main event. <laughs> I have pre-opened it, as you can see, just to make life easier for myself and so you don't have to hear all this plastic and opening shenanigans. But it was delivered with, I think, the gel. Yeah. And have a look and I got this wonderful it's a French puff dress midi length it looks sublime and it's in the color scheme or whatever you call it the pattern called La Belle Etoile uh, the beautiful star I think if I'm saying that right the La Belle Etoile French puff dress or gas feels, the organza feels quite um, like very soft but it feels quite heavy which is the problem with, you can't see it here, but this dress that I made, the organza is very thin but in this is just like very lush. I like this pattern design because it looks very kind of Marie Antoinette-esque and I love that. And here we go. So should I... Initial thought is that it feels lovely. Like organza is just such a luxurious feeling. I am a little bit worried about that distance for my boobs, but um, let's try it on and we'll see how it fits. And here we are. It fits. <laughs> it. Of course, I'm going to focus on this first. It feels like. A lot of my boobs are out, but not uncomfortably out. I mean, a little bit of boobage hasn't hurt anyone, surely. So, over expectations, I'll definitely wear it like this. Might consider next time to get the extra large just to see what the, the bust area is like. But I was scared it was going to be too big and not hold up because I can never wear anything that has no straps um, but I might also consider adding straps myself because that's what I did to this dress um, which actually worked out really well because these don't really have a lot of support to keep this up <laughs> but it's um, I'll consider it next time but also don't want to order a dress and send it back if I have to pay £90 in import tax because I don't got that money um, but yeah look how beautiful it is it's so puffy. It has this outer layer, which I think is a double circle skirt with ruffles. And then it has two smaller that only go to the over the knee layers underneath, which makes it not so see-through, which is great. And the outer layer goes to just above my shin, is that what it's called? So it's like ankle length, which is perfect for me. That's exactly what I wanted. 
it is a little bit uh, sharp or like um I wouldn't say itchy but maybe a little bit itchy uh, around here but it's probably just because the organza is so stiff that when you bundle it up like this and these uh, skinny straps that's on it or elastics that are underneath it can help but get a little bit of sharpness there but I don't mind it too much also has a little bit of that around the arms but it's not too tight which I quite like also have these little details around the bust and the arms which I I totally missed in the photos before so great I'm gonna see if I can film something on my phone as well because I'm very cramped on space in my bedroom and um, so you can see the full length of it but yeah really happy the skirts finished with French seams which I love it has a I still have the tag on but it has a zipper in the back <sighs> I'll just wear this every day this summer I think I just love a puffy dress <laughs> and yeah it just feels very lush I don't know what else to say if you have any questions put them in the comments below and hopefully I can show you some more of this when I actually take some proper photos outside make sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see more photos because that's where I post them first and hopefully there will be more things on YouTube moving forwards but I hope you've enjoyed this video and seeing my new birthday dress. I feel great about it. I'm so happy I finally did it because I wasn't sure about it. <sighs> yeah. I will hope to see you the next time I do a video, which hopefully is very soon. And I hope you're having a lovely day. See you next time.